There's a saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, well, that'll make you end up in divorce court. On today's case, Miss Gist says the man she met five years ago fooled her into thinking he was sincere and generous. Now she says the only thing he's been generous with is giving her headaches and heartaches. Miss Gist says Mr. Green is a repeat offender when it comes to stepping outside of their relationship, and enough is enough. Mr. Green maintains his innocence and says his past indiscretions were simple misunderstandings and miscommunications. And now he's ready to right his wrongs today in my courtroom. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Gist versus Green. Thank you very much, Ms. Gist and Mr. Green. Ms. Gist, you say you are here today in court because this relationship has given you nothing but headaches and heartaches. You say you've caught Mr. Green cheating on you and you want to end this relationship today. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Green, you're here today to prove your innocence because you say you've been faithful to Ms. Gist. You say other than some flirtatious text messages, you haven't cheated, you love your family, and want to resolve your issues so you can finally go ahead and get married. Yes, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Green, Ms. Gist said that this is it. Well, Your Honor, I want to come back home and marry Dorico. That's what my plans are for coming here today. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Okay, well, we are going to resolve some issues today, one way or the other. I'm glad to have Ms. LaShonda Harmon here with us, who will be talking as a witness a little later on in the case. But first, tell me how you all met. Right, Your Honor. Okay. So, when we met, we met at a restaurant I used to work at. He used to come in all the time. Once we got, you know, in a relationship and we started doing, you know, the baby came, once the baby came, um, I was doing laundry and he had a phone in his pocket. Okay. I was under the impression that, you know, it was just an old phone. So, I went through the phone, Your Honor, and when I went through the phone, um, he was trying to meet up with a young lady. Um, so, yeah. it was not an old phone? It was not an old phone. It was very recent. And Mr. Green tried to say that you didn't see what you saw. That's what he always do. Okay, it Mr. Was, Green, help was, me to understand that because this is very clear. This fit, phone is a was, physical piece of It was old messages, Your Honor, from, a, from my work phone, Your Don't Honor. Don't lie. How, but you all have been in a relationship now for five years. You have a four-year-old child, so how old was the phone? Well, Your Honor, what it was, it was conversations that I had and I never, I never slept with that one, woman, Your Honor. Okay, but wait a minute. What you just did was you flipped the script, <laughs> okay? You started off by saying that it was old text messages. Then when I confronted you with the fact that you've been in a relationship with this woman long enough that the phones don't even look the same anymore, and now you flipped the script and just told me that the, you didn't do anything. It was just text messages. I did not have sexual relations with the woman in question. Cheating is anything that you do that you can't tell your significant other. I had it for work purposes only. So why would you be having a personal text message conversation on your work phone? I'm, I'm the supervisor, so I have a lot of females that I work with. Mm -hmm. And this couple of them, you know, they got a little bit a attachment or whatnot. Professionalism. So they got attachment. I can't tell them what the, the what the text. Wait, 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 wait! Didn't you just say you were the boss? Yes. That's grounds to fire somebody. Your Honor, I'm going to be honest with you. Please do. She, <laughs> she was just so indulged with me over the fact, you know, she just she just lost control for a second. So I mean, I, I gave her a warning, but you know, I, okay, I don't see Okay, Denzel, no... that you just <laughs> made the folk. Just lose their mind uh, and no, can jeopardize see, their no, job. Uh, not Denzel, it's sexual chocolate. Oh. Man. See? You see what I be saying? <laughs> that is not professional behavior. And you can't explain that away, sir. Your Honor, can I tell you about the beauty supply store? The beauty supply store, let's go. Okay. So, you know, when we go out to the beauty supply store, me and my, be me and my best friend, I'm going to buy me on the wig because we finna go out. You hear me? <laughs> So, um, I get out of the car. I'm walking to the store. Somebody leave their car on. It's running. So, I'm like, okay, like, it's somebody in this car. It gots to be, because who would leave their car on? So, I'm looking to see if somebody in there. I see him laid back. Is it his car? No! So, you know me, Your Honor. I get in the car. I prop my leg on the door and everything. I'm looking at him. What you doing? Who you here with? 
Oh, my homeboy in the house. Ain't no man in that house, though. Who you here with? Oh, my homegirl, it's a co-worker. Now, see, you told me two or three different stories off rip, so I already know you're lying. Then the lady come outside, she come to the door, she looks at me and she tells me, you know, get out my car. Okay, I, I have no problem with that, but who are you? She then goes to say that she's messing with him. They've been in a relationship for the last, what, four to five months? You're delusional. I, I don't remember hearing nothing. Oh, about y'all. now I'm delusional. I, yeah, I don't remember now, see, that. Don't that, me, that lady don't, did not say that. Now see, she, she didn't don't say that. Don't make me turn off. Okay, wait, 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 wait. And please don't turn up, please. Turn down. I, I please, can, turn I can down. guarantee you she has not forgotten one word that that lady said. I can guarantee you that. Yana, that Cause lady she was on fire. Yana, the witness right here. The witness right here, cause I knew it. I knew he was gonna do that. Are you suggesting that there was a third party there that could validate what was actually said? Because he's a liar. I know how he do. I need a witness. Um, Miss Harmon, would you please stand next to the plaintiff? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, Miss Harmon, will you please tell me what your relationship is? Yes, I'm friends with Dorica. We've been friends for 10 years now. Okay, that's your girl? Yes, my best friend. Okay, so you all were headed over to the beauty supply store, gonna get you some new hair for the evening. Yes, ma'am. Change it up, be cute. Yes, Your Honor. When y'all won't roll up, tell me what happened in your own words. Okay, when we pulled up, Dorica did jump in the car, and I'm looking like, Dorica, why you got in that lady car? So, next minute, her and Brandy was going at it, and I see the young Were lady... you present when they were having their discussion? Yes, ma'am, I had the window down, I was sitting in the car and I listened because she was just yelling and just carrying on. Okay, so in other words, y'all's y'all's car was in close proximity. Yes. To the other car. Yes, ma'am. Okay, got it. So when the young lady came out of the store, I could just hear her just yelling, "Who they in my car? Who they in my car?" I guess you see the reek in the driver's side, whatnot. Which I would have yelled too, just so we clear. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Yes, keep keep so going with was, the story. So I was like, Brandon, really, you are bold to have another woman in our area. So, wait a minute. You actually said something yeah, to I yelled Mr. Car. Green. Yes, ma'am. I yelled out the car. And so, Mr. Green knows that you were there. Yes, ma'am. We have an incident at work that happened. So, we get there. She comes to pick me up. My car is getting worked on at the moment. My alternator has went out on my car. No. Your car wasn't even broke. You just my, got in the car with the lady. My car was having some stuff worked on it. Okay, Mr. Green, you will not deflect in this courtroom. The woman just testified that she witnessed the incident. Narcissist. Okay? Mr. Green, did you turn and lie yes. to me just a few minutes ago? Your Honor, no, I did not, Your Honor. What it is is, first of all, this this one right here, she's jealous because she don't have a man like that. Let me tell you something jealous. right now. Let me tell you something right now. You will not deflect in this courtroom. The woman just testified that she witnessed the incident. The narcissist. Okay? And you looked me in the face after having looked your fiance in the face, and you lied straight to me. Because I know good and well, Miss Harmon, she's not lying. What ended up happening was, now, I'm at home off, and you know, as me being a supervisor, I'm always on the clock. So... What do you do that you need to be on the clock to take somebody to the beauty supply store? Hmm. I'm gonna get to that, Your Honor. I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that. Your Honor, okay, she's the... I'm the supervisor. I have the phone, she calls. We have an incident at work that happens. So we get there, she comes to pick me up. My car is getting worked on at the moment. My alternator has went out on my car. Your car wasn't even broke. You just my, got in the car with the lady. My car was having some stuff worked on it. Okay, Mr. Green, you are explaining everything up until the point when the woman comes out the store and says, this is my man. I don't care, Honor. I don't care what happened at the job. I don't care if the lady picked you up, dropped you off, or what have you. The lady said, this is my man and I've been in a relationship with him multiple months. Are you denying that the woman said that? The woman never said that. She did, Brandon. She never... She I never heard her say that, Your Honor. On I, 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 I swear. And I got, I got hearing like a cat and I didn't so hear her say that. So why do these ladies be mad with me? So but, Mr. That? Green, you're still not explaining to me why, why these two women have a complete mm. recollection of an incident with another woman. It wasn't just like the lady came and got in the car, because if it was a co-worker situation, then all that would have had to happen would have been Mr. Green turned to Miss Gist and say, let me introduce you all. 
The reason that didn't happen is because I think you are looking me in the face and you are lying. No, Your Honor. And that's just the truth. Let's say, Your Honor, if you are out and someone say, hey, Your Honor, you know, you look good or whatnot, the only thing you can say is I'm taking or whatnot. I mean, these women, get, these women get emanicized with me. I, I don't know what it is. Get what? Emanicized. What the hell? Indulged. <laughs> I got to write that one down. Please do. Because I never heard Man-sized. it either. Manicized? Got to look it up. <laughs> that goes down. That's one of my T.I. words, Atlanta. That's one of my T.I. big words. <laughs> OK. That, that's a big word? <laughs> that's yes. actually called illiterate, but I'm going to let you go ahead and do what you're doing. Yes, y'all. I'm, I'm going to let you say what you're saying. They become what you would call almost like mesmerized. That's a, that that would be a better word. Okay, know, that would be an actual word. Yeah, huh? because I'm so, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I've worked my way up to the top, and I'm so okay. powerful. I'm going to tell you something right now. Bless your heart. Hey. There's a whole lot that Miss Giss may need to correct about herself, but insecure about you is not one of them. I'm gonna tell you that, okay? <laughs> I don't know her well enough, but I'm telling you that this, the one thing she's not is an insecure lady. At, at all. I, 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 I've known her 10 minutes, and I can tell you Honor, she is not an insecure a, that's woman. That's just a facade, Your Honor. That's just a nah. facade. See, I'm a, I'm a good woman. She's threatened. I'm a, I'm a great woman. She's threatened. I'm a great woman. I, I, don't, I don't have a need to be insecure. I would like to... Let me... because. Mr. Green, you're not explaining anything that is literally bringing any illumination to this situation. Can you please go on with your stories of why you say you want this relationship over? Because that's why we're here, Mr. Yes. Green. Well, what yes, happened? ma'am. Um, before I, I head to the house one day, I call him to see where he at. He's not telling me where he's at. I ask him, do he want to eat? He, no, he don't want nothing to eat. When you don't want nothing to eat? So if I'm not feeding you, somebody feeding you because you love to eat. <laughs> okay, so I pulls up to the house. Not even five seconds, I see this car and him getting out of it. The girl pulled off. I goes in the house because now I want to know what's going on. Why are you disrespecting me? Why you have women coming to my house? I had Your it Honor, time. it was another co-worker. <laughs> I awful. asked her to drop me off at the house because somebody did something to the car and somebody did something to the car. Who did something and to the car, Brandon? Problems. I don't know. Maybe it was a Tell malfunction, but it was yourself. just a co-worker dropping me off or whatnot, and she comes out like a lunatic. Ms. Herman, thank you so much for your help. Yes, I Your appreciate Honor. it. Oh. This lady, the same lady that had been calling, texting. I called the lady this time. The co-worker lady? Is it the co-worker lady, Brandon? Yes, sure. Because there's so many, I don't know. So what did you find out when you spoke to her? She said he told him that we was over. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Mr. Green. Yes, Your Honor. Why are you involved in a relationship with a woman if you're going to be so disrespectful? You know she does not want women coming to her house. You know this. Your Honor, I'm not gonna say I'm a perfect, you know, I mean, which is she thinks that, that I'm perfect. Because that would be a lie, sir. Yes, I know that she thinks that I'm perfect and I whatnot, but... I forgave him one, once or twice before. No, I've forgiven her too now and whatnot, Your Honor. I've forgiven her Are you too. suggesting that Miss Gist has been cheating also? Well, Your Honor, I could just tell you this right here. In our city, everybody likes to meet at Line of C. Miller Park. Uh, someone told me that Dorica was up there shaking and dropping it like it was hot, you know, and it wasn't even that hot outside. Excuse me. That's he say, she say. I know I have a little mouth, but a baby... mouth? Yeah, I, I, I got a little a mouth, mouth, but you ain't gonna never see me Your dropping Honor, it like it's hot. I gotta get my hearing checked in this ear right here because it don't been worn out by that mouth. Mm -hmm. But, I'm, but, oh, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, Mr. Green, all I've heard is that you have not been a person that she can trust. You know that every relationship, sir, is built on trust. Yes, After we started over, we got, a, we got our numbers changed. Phone numbers. New phones, new numbers. That night, he came home, he left the phone in the car. He drunk, he passed out. I get his keys and I go in the car and I take off in the car. I'm, I'm driving down the street because I know I'm gonna go through this phone, Yana. I pulls over. When I goes through the phone, this lady, the same lady that had been calling, texting, all kind of stuff. The co-worker lady? 
Is it the co-worker lady, Brandy? Yes, y'all. Because there's so many, I don't know. I caught the lady this time, bitch. So what did you find out when you spoke to her? She said he told him that we was over. So let me guess. When you went back home, you told him to pack his stuff and that was that. Yes, Your Honor. And that's why we are here today. He got to go. Your Honor, I did at, the, Your Honor, now, I did admit that I was having inappropriate conversation. I shouldn't have been doing it, but I said that it was because of her aggressive, overbearing personality that I fell into this woman entrapment or whatnot. I have to be aggressive. You know why? Because when I'm nice and I'm chill, you play with me. So you get me Your out Honor. of character. Don't get me out of... You Your know what? Honor. I ain't even getting out Your of character Honor. no more. This is, this is why I'm making <clears throat> the decision that I'm making today. Your so Honor. I won't get out of character. Because I know I'm not crazy. I'm... I... I'm, I'm okay right here. I'm I admit it to my wrongdoings, Your Honor. It, if anything, I could have I could have said no. I admitted it. I was having inappropriate conversation with this woman. But you were having inappropriate conversations where you say you were broken up with the woman that you're allegedly engaged to that you sleeping in her bed, like literally were actually literally sleep in the bed of the woman that you said you had broken up with, while she is on the phone with the new woman who you also lying to. Make it make sense. And a hush fell over Jerusalem. <laughs> Let me wrap this up. Miss hmm. Giss, you say that you have reached the end of your rope with Mr. Green. You say that you are done being betrayed by the one person who is supposed to love and respect you unconditionally. Ms. Green, you admit you have made mistakes in this relationship, but you've been lying since you walked in the door. You have a child, and I know that you are looking to make a clean break so that you can learn to co-parent. Are you ready to co-parent now? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Green, Ms. Giss is not taking you back. So you need to be ready with your pictures and your plants in a box, because... Whatever's left there, you need to pick it up off the front porch because hmm. she's not taking you back. So here's the bottom line. You can keep lying and keep being the man over at this gig and working your 80 to 100 hours, but you're going to need to make a co-parenting plan with Miss Giss because if Miss Giss does not want to put up with your shenanigans, she doesn't have to. She is a young, smart, beautiful woman with one child who is going to learn that there's a different way for men to treat women and a different way for a woman to expect a man to treat her because your baby's mother is going to stand in the unique space that God has created for her. And she's going to be that independent woman that will be the example for your child of what you will take and what you won't take as an independent woman. Am I right about it? Yes, Your Honor. You will either figure out how to come up with a child support system here in a court of arbitration, or you will go to family court where another judge who is not as nice or as pretty as me will give you an order that says child support in the amount of case dismissed. Damn, I don't know why you be trying me. You brought me over here to... Disrespect me like that? Walk in uh-uh. here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hold on. Don't. don't don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't don't come over here. Don't try to embarrass me. Uh-uh. Hold on. Stop, boo. Stop. And you watch me walk away. I have never seen anybody just lie and like the lie just drip out your mouth. Like I, syrup. I started to make notes in my head. I was like, emancipated or whatever the I still is. don't know some of the words that he I'll was using. I'll tell you using. what, I was gonna go to the Urban Dictionary today, but I don't think it's in, even in there. It's in the it, Green Dictionary. It's in the Green Dictionary? Yeah, in the Green Dictionary. As in Mr. Green? Yeah. Let's just hope we don't ever have to deal with that again. Bye. <laughs>